So about an hour ago, a friend called me and asked me to pray for healing for him. He had pain in his shoulder and pain in his back. Starting out, I interviewed him and I asked him, you know, how long have you had the pain for? He wanted to start with his shoulder. So I asked him, how long have you had the pain for? He said, about 10 years. And so I asked him, like, what, um, what happened around that time when your shoulder started hurting? And he said it had to do with arthritis. So I've learned recently that arthritis usually is related to unforgiveness, resentment, bitterness, things like that. And so I asked him, you know, is there anything that you can think of where you have unforgiveness, anger, resentment uh, towards anyone? And he brought up a situation where he had wronged some other people. And so um, I asked him if he had forgiven himself for that. And he said, oh, yeah, I've forgiven myself. I was like, okay, cool. And uh, so I asked his, he was there with his wife and I was on the phone. Um, so I asked if they had any anointing oil. Nope. Asked his wife to go get some oil, set it aside. We prayed over it and set it apart as holy. And then I asked her to anoint her husband with oil. And because in the scriptures it says, to, if you're sick, go to the elders, be anointed with oil that you can get well. So anyway, we did that. And then there are several different types of healing prayers that you can pray. One is asking God to heal the person. Uh, you can also command spirits to go. You command pain to go. Um, and then, and then there's also, you know, praying for forgiveness and things like that, that really help as well. So we went through a bunch of different, um, uh, ways of healing, I guess you could say. And, um, and then between each time I asked him to check to see where, what the pain level was at, what his motion level was, things like that to test it out. And so, um, each time it got a little bit better, but not all the way. And, uh, a couple things that were interesting to me that made significant difference was after we had experienced, he had already gotten healing, um, a bit of healing, but not completely. I asked him to thank God for healing him so far for what he's done so far. And after he prayed, thanking God, I asked him to test it again. And he said there was a significant difference. And then again, um, another time that there was a significant dif difference was when I asked him to, even though he had already prayed to forgive himself for the situation where he had wronged these other people, I asked him to pray again re regarding that situation. And if the Holy Spirit brought anything else to mind to pray into that as well. And so even before praying into the thing that he had told me about initially, he started praying about the situation where he had had an employee that robbed from him and stole the business from him. And I don't know the details, but he mentioned that he had been super angry with him. And, um, he had seemingly forgiven him in the past, but I asked him to do it again. And so after praying to forgive him for doing all those things and bless him, release him, um, and then also he prayed about the situation where he had wronged other people. He asked his wife for forgiveness and, and he forgave himself again. He asked God for forgiveness. And after that prayer, again, there was a significant improvement in his shoulder. And, um, and then, so like I mentioned, there's also commanding the pain to go and commanding spirits to leave and, you know, spirit of affliction, spirit of infirmity. So after each time it was getting a bit better and we just kept going until it was totally good. So he got to a place where he was like, yeah, it actually feels just like my other arm now. Like I have the same range of motion. It doesn't hurt. This is amazing. And so then I asked him about his back and he said his back was no longer hurting as well. So sometimes when you're praying for one thing, just the process of, you know, when we're commanding pain to go, it's going everywhere. When we're commanding those spirits to leave, they're leaving. And, and when we're entering into forgiveness and um, kind of cleansing our heart of bitterness and resentment and things like that, it, it affects our whole body. So 
uh, asked him to thank God again for the healing that he had received, the healing that God had given him. And, and then what was also cool was at the end, his wife actually mentioned that while we were praying, her hands were super hot. And so that's another good sign <laughs> that God is doing something is either when some, when our hands are hot, putting them on the person or when they're feeling heat, wherever the pain is at. Those are both good signs. Um, I also had asked him to let me know if he was feeling any heat or tingling or movement or anything, and he never did. But God healed him, and his wife was feeling lots of heat in her hands. So cool, we'll take it. Um, but so I hope this is encouraging to you. Another thing just to note is when we experience healing from God, it's also important in order to stay in that healing to stay in a posture of forgiveness and cleansing ourselves of resentment, bitterness, things like that, just keeping our hearts pure of those things. And, um, and also like habits, if, if we are living in a lifestyle that is not walking in God's ways, it's important to repent <laughs> and to walk in his ways because there are consequences to our sins. And so oftentimes not walking God's ways can open the door to spirits afflicting us. Um, you know, having unforgiveness and resentment also opens the door. And sometimes it's even simple as changing our physical habits. Like there was one time where I was sitting and my shoulder started hurting and I asked Jesus to touch my shoulder, make the pain go away and immediately it did. And then after about 15 minutes, the pain came back and I was like, what the heck? You just healed it. And I heard God say, it's the way you're sitting. So I adjusted the way I was sitting and then within a few minutes, the pain was gone. So sometimes it can even be just physical habits that we're in that are hurting our bodies. So um, when God heals us of stuff, uh, it's good to just be aware of that and if it comes back thinking about like what what might have I like I mean is there something in my lifestyle that I need to change actually do this even before the pain comes back <laughs> when you get healed is there something in my lifestyle that I need to change to keep this from returning and even Jesus when he healed people a lot of times he'd say go and sin no more lest something worse will happen to you so it's a good practice to reflect on how can I um, change whatever I'm doing so that I am walking in God's ways and I can stay in good health. So I hope this has blessed you. Please let me know.